Okay, do you want to explain what we're doing? Well, Joanne gave me um, this chest was dad's and she gave it to me and I absolutely love just the chest. We have no idea. We don't know what's inside. I don't know what's inside. So I this guess is our first time opening. Memories, I guess. She also, the dad kept. She also put her stockings up, I just realized. Wow. Just improved trouser press. That's the one I think she was talking about. You put your pants on it and then you put it under the mattress or something like that. You fold it's got directions on how to fold it. Does it have a year? Open press and lay on trousers evenly and smooth smoothly and dampen front and back edges of trousers. Then Close press and hang up and fold over chair or onto suitcase. W. H. Baird and over N. B. So it's from here. Manufactured. Doesn't have a date. I think that's what she said was Grampy's dad's. This was Genki's? Yeah, sure. That's what we call. Yes, I just didn't know that. That's cool. I'll have to figure out a little bit more. What do you have? This looks like something Nanny Nanny did. Beautiful. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist. Oh, who's that gorgeous lady? <laughs> who's one, that, one Captain? Grad, Who is it? Is that Mama? That's Mama. Aww. That's my family. How old was I there? Uh, five or six, maybe. Dad's got dark hair, so it was a while ago. <laughs> Cute little Bethany. Here's some proof You're that I was blonde. Three, but... I used to be a blondie. What a cute dress. Love the bow. Mum always had me in hats. I'm going to try to recreate this. <laughs> I need a shower. Bethany was born September 4th, 1991, and there I am. A headband on. I think I look more like I did when I was a baby than I did when I was like three. <laughs> Is this why you were awake all night, baby? Because you sleep all day? All night you kept me awake. How rude. How rude of you to look this peaceful and cute in the middle of the afternoon. I can't believe it. It's Betty time and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24, which means Christmas Eve, but today is the day before Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve Eve, if you will, if you're Phoebe Buffet. But I had plans for this afternoon. We rescheduled for a Monday evening because the weather is really bad. And when I found out my plans were canceled and the weather was really bad, what did I do? I ordered pizza because I really wanted garlic fingers. I haven't had any yet. So I got in the car drove across the river in the bad weather at the roads aren't actually that bad but i'm gonna go pick it up right now and um head back home and i guess we're in for the evening i think i'm also gonna get some chocolate milk because i don't know if larry's gonna pick it up i don't trust him not to just in case and like worst case scenario we have extra chocolate milk i made it home safe and sound with all the goodies i also picked up some storm chips and mountain dew and chocolate milk and obviously the pizza. Had to put my life at risk because nobody delivers here. I do think this might be one of the bigger culture shocks. I know it's not actually a culture shock, but it's so funny to me that I can get anything delivered anytime in Toronto. And here, never. I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna raise the windshield wipers on both of the cars because I'm such a good daughter, even though my mom usually backs in. I was like, I'm actually going to not. <laughs> All right. And now for Graham's little silver car. Bye. 
Look who went out to back up the van. She didn't want it to go in the way that I wanted it. Just what a girl needs. Some garlic fingers, meat pizza from Greco, and doner sauce. This is the good stuff. All right, my first garlic finger in a year. Covered in doner sauce. Mm. Lee, why won't you try the ice cream cake? It's ice cream. With cake. With cake. It's better than cake. I picked it up at Dairy Queen on my way home from Fredericton. Yum, yum, yum. The time has come to start wrapping presents, so I just brought everything down to the basement and I forgot to do a haul yesterday of the things I bought myself while I was Christmas shopping for other people. But I got these two pairs of press-on nails and some glue. I got this glue for two bucks and I usually pay for it on Amazon for like seven. So good deal, good find. I also bought myself a eucalyptus and an iced lemon biscotti essential oil. I am mid-wrapping and we just lost power, so I guess I'll just hang out in the basement for a minute and see if it comes back on. Right now I'm daily vlogging because it's Vlogmas, which means a vlog every day until the end so of... So like for a month? Yeah. Every day for a month. Insane. Do you want to tell me what happened with the power? Yeah, it went out all Well, we noticed that. Over. All of Perth Andover has no power, and I'm here trying to wrap presents. Yeah, I good luck with that. Thanks. You're yes. not going to help me? I don't think it's possible at the moment. Why? You've got a light. You can help me. I guess that's a no. Are you taking the light away? Hey! All of these gorgeous presents wrapped by yours truly. And then mom is going to wrap all the ones that are not for her. So I think I did a pretty good job. Nobody say <coughs> anything about my bad wrapping job or you will get the Christmas curse. How long was the power out, mom? Two and a half hours. Uh, little man's asleep until Hazel wakes him up. All the lights came back on. The power is back out. Lee is asleep. Mom's got her eggnog. Captain's just hanging out on the floor over there. Who's behind me? Who's over here behind me? <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Today is Christmas Eve, but we're... I haven't finished yesterday, so we went to bed at like 10 because the power was out, and the power is still out, so we're freezing, We're freezing, and I will see you tomorrow, which is today, so Betty buys.